doing a full on serious match for a carny show. You literally <laughs> break your body for ten kids going do a black type. Like it's just no point. Like they wanna have comedy or um if you are in a more serious crowd, yeah, sure, do that stuff, like they'll respect that. Like know what crowd you've got before you go out there and break your body for doing something like free people go, Wow, did you see that flip? Like mm. it doesn't always need it. Which but is something they- I've I've always said is like you like performers need to understand their audience who they're going out there wrestling to. And when I say understand the audience, it's like if you're wrestling in front of a bunch of ten year olds, then you know what I mean. It doesn't need to be, you know what I mean, no. like a, a you know what I mean, a five star Meltzer fucking star rated match. You know what I mean? Like it just needs to be fun, entertaining, a little bit of like goofiness to it. Yeah, like, I found them bad. Like um, I feel heavy for some of the sick wrestlers because. Like, although I am quite the athletic man, um, I've had like there's been some fantastic wrestlers on the card, and I mean like big names, sick matches. But on that day, for me doing something stupid, I've sold the most merch yeah. because I attracted the right kind of audience, and it's just doing that something small or that change, like it can make all the difference. Yeah, and storytelling might be the heart, but it's not always correct. Kids aren't going to know what storytelling is. If I mm. slap a beach, then it could be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like while storytelling is important in wrestling as well as like also making sure that you connect with that crowd. Like, there's like, dude, like, we, like Alex, like we've been on shows where like we've seen things happen on shows and be like man, like, this is a bit much for that crowd. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, at yeah. moments, and, like, where you're like, uh, I don't know if this is the right thing, this is the right match for this just, sort of show. Just convoluted f- finishes and, like, all these people coming out and talking about... But this is the most annoying thing is, like, the people that come out and cut this promo uh, about the promo that they had on Facebook, and they talk about something that was, like, completely... Like, that only the social media page would have seen... And you're completely yeah. alienating new viewers, and it's just like it's keeping it simple and making 100%. it, yeah, making it run simple is the most important thing. And then you can always have fun and attract new people because we're not trying to. Uh, I feel like a lot of companies end up being alienating, and then a lot of the wrestlers end up doing spots and then wrestle for them. They kind of fall in the trap of wrestling for themselves, in yeah. the sense that they want to do all this stuff, but then. You know, even to the people that are educated fans, if you strip back and you just show one unique thing, like what you did on on Wrestling Go with the spatula thing, and you actually got a spatula chant, and it was probably the loudest pop of the night. You well, know, that would be humble, but it fucking was. <laughs> <laughs> but that spatula chant got over, and everyone else was trying to wrestle and trying to pop them that way. But it's like, dude, like they've already seen wrestling before; they've seen the high spots, seen everything else. But when they see something unique and different, like that's that's the most important thing. And stripping it back, stripping it back can have you like you know, you'll be the person who's remembered for that show. Put it that yeah. way. 